Israel shark is one of two extant species of shark in the family Camudodocididae. This species of shark has a wide but patchy distribution in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It has been caught as deep as 1600 meters below the ocean surface, however it is uncommon to be found lower than 1200 meters deep. Exhibiting several primitive features, the frilled shark is often in terms a living fossil. It reaches a length of 2 meters and has a dark brown eel-like body with dorsal pelvic and anal fins placed near the back. Its common name comes from the frilly or fringed appearance of its six pairs of gill slits with the first pair meeting across the throat. The first sightings of the frilled shark were in 1879 by a German scientist. However, the first officially documented sightings were in 1884 by American zoologist Samuel Garman. Early authors believed the frilled shark to be a living representation of otherwise long extinct groups of elasmobranchs, based on its multiple pointed teeth, the articulation of its upper jaw, directly to the cranium behind the eyes, and its spinal column of indistinct vertebrae. Garmin proposed that it was allied with the cladodonts, a now obsolete taxonomic grouping containing forms that thrived during the Paleozoic era. However, more recent investigations have found the similarities between the frilled shark and extinct groups may have been overstated or misinterpreted, and this shark exhibits a number of skeletal and muscular traits that firmly place it with more modern day sharks and rays, and more specifically with the cow shark. Nevertheless, the frilled shark belongs to one of the oldest still extant shark lineages dating back to the late Cretaceous period and possibly to the late Jurassic period. Because of their ancient ancestry and primitive characteristics, the frilled shark and other members of this lineage have been described as living fossils. However, the frilled shark itself is a relatively recent species with the earliest known fossil teeth belonging to the species dating to the early Pleistocene epoch. The habitat and distribution of the frilled shark ranges in the Atlantic from northern Scotland and Norway all the way down to Brazil and in the Pacific Ocean all the way from Hawaii down to Australia. The species tends to stay near the bottom of the ocean floor between 50 metres deep to around 1000 metres deep. However, its diet suggests it moves upward in the night to feed at the surface. The diet of a frilled shark consists mostly of cephalopods, bony fishes and other smaller shark species. As the species cannot deliver a strong bite, it generally swallows its prey whole and its prey can be as big as half its body length. And due to barely any evidence of stomach contents, it means that the shark either has a very fast metabolism or has long periods of time between feeding intervals. Sightings of this species in the wild by humans is very rare. However, when they are encountered, they possess no threat to humans. The only instance of injuries caused by frill sharks is when scientists perform autopsies on dead specimens and cut their hands on the teeth. Thanks for watching guys and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!